Hi, can you hear me? I'm uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> if you hear me, um, let me know in the chat. Okay, uh, we're gonna start in two minutes. Please bear with me. I'm using a, a new streaming thingy. I'm not very computery. Is it still quiet? Should I um, turn up the volume? Is this loud or soft? Because I'm going to turn down the volume on my laptop, but I uh, I don't know if that means I'm turning down the volume on your side. It's been a while, you can tell. <laughs> Why is it giving me an error? Man, YouTube is so confusing. Okay, so I'm going to turn down the volume on my laptop because I don't want to hear myself. It's like the worst thing that could happen. Okay, uh, I think let's get started. It's five. Um, if anything happens, please let me know in chat, cause I I don't know what's going on. Okay, so welcome to our very new write cursive with me it's been a while I know I'm sorry but uh, you know what it's the new year's and I'm thinking we need to set some resolutions right so grab some paper grab pencil or a pen or whatever I'm gonna use my fanciest pen because I'm worth it so, uh, and I'm constantly re monitoring the chat. So if you're on YouTube, make sure you're, you know, uh, talking on the chat with your other friends or with me if you're coming through any problems. Uh, so let me explain the rules. If this is your first time, this is... Write cursive with me. So I'm going to be asking you guys questions. It's going to be like stream of consciousness questions. I don't really have a list. I honestly just woke up from a nap. Um, but the idea is whatever question I ask, you got to write down your answer three times in your best cursive. All your, all your best handwriting. Okay, so the idea is we're gonna practice our handwriting. Um, the, the rules is you can't think too much. 
because I'm going to keep asking questions. It's going to be like a constant moving thing. So, and, you know, just write whatever that the first thing that comes to your head. It's like a stream of consciousness journal. And, you know, I can't see what you're writing. So you could write swear words the whole time. I don't, <laughs> I can't tell. But you're going to be able to see my answers. So don't copy me. <laughs> okay, our topic today is Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm so glad to be back. So I would like us all, firstly, to write Happy New Year. You just gotta, you know. It doesn't matter if it's... If you're watching this live or you're watching this in 2022 or 2023 or whatever, as long as it's sometime in January, I guess, we're all fresh and happy in this brand new, spanking new year. And our first question is always, what is your name? <sighs> Take your time to form your letters. There is no need to rush. I'm not going to rush. Um, and for you, wherever whenever you're watching this what year is it for you right now doesn't it feel weird to write the new year uh what day is it what day and month is it when you're watching this As you write, you will notice that your hands are loosening up a little bit so you get more familiar with your paper and perhaps your writing gets better. Is it the third or is it the fourth? I don't know. I don't know anymore, guys. What time is it for you? when you're writing this. Remember you got to write the same answer three times because that's how you really sink in your practice. Don't worry, the first answer doesn't look right. Make sure the next two answers look nice. <sighs> on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being absolutely terrible and 10 being pretty awesome, how was your previous year? No judgment, write whatever you want, but I'm going to be... Would you want a do-over of last year? Whatever year it is that you're watching it. What did you do on New Year's Day? Midnight. What did you do on mi mi midnight New Year's?
what did you wish you were doing for midnight New Year's? Like a fantasy fantasy party. Man, I need to practice. My hands are like cold, shaky. But you know what? We are here. We are working. So we'll get better. What was the last meal you had in the last year? Like your New Year's Eve dinner. Did you have something special? I don't remember what I had. Yeah. What did you drink if you drank anything? Maybe you had coffee, tea, if you do drink, maybe champagne or wine. Or maybe you just had water before you went to bed. <laughs> Feel free to share your answers on the chat too. So I can, uh, so it's not just me, guys. <laughs> um, what do you wish you had for New Year's Eve? Okay, there is a running joke that all of these writing with chin things always end up about food. So I see myself steering there and I'm going to slowly steer away from the food questions. Okay. Um, think back about the best New Year's Eve party you've ever had. Who was there? Me. My friend Sylvia was there. I spent New Year's with her and her family. It was great. Do you have a New Year's Eve tradition? Like a family tradition or something you always do with your friends? You know, I always mean to do things and then I kind of never do them. Well, we'll get the resolution soon, don't worry. All right, on the topic of gratitude. What one thing are you grateful for last year? Hmm. Again, no judgment. If you're just grateful for your health, that's totally fine. If you're grateful for your friends and family, that's totally fine. If you want to write, oh, I'm grateful for my Lamborghini, that's fine too. What was something new that you learned last year? could be anything.
guys I learned how to bake and decorate cookies <laughs> I'm not a good cook and I do not bake but I learned how to bake and make royal icing for cookies it was not easy what happened last year that you're not particularly proud of COVID-19 pounds? Yeah, right. I wish it was just 19. <laughs> okay. Um, what happened last year that you don't believe happened last year? And, you know, I could probably guess your answer, but you could write anything you want. For example, I'm going to write... Parasite won Best Oscar. First of all, I can't believe it because that was in 2020. I thought that was in like, I thought that was like two years ago. But that was just last year. Wow. Second of all, Foreign film won Best Oscar, that's pretty awesome. Have you guys seen this movie? It's like amazing. Okay, now because of all the lockdowns, blah blah blah, you know, everyone was at home watching TV shows. What movie or show did you watch last year that that Pops into your head right now. Don't think too hard about it. Because what pops into your head is the one thing that is super memorable, right? What kind of music defined your previous year? It could be a band or your favorite genre of music or maybe you took up a musical instrument. What music was just like the defining year for you? And take your time to write out all your letters. There is no hurry. Make sure everything is legible and beautifully formed. Because you are what you practice, right? If you're sloppy, well, that's what you're going to write. That's what you're going to practice. Let's go back to the to the gratitude theme. Who were you grateful for last year? Your spouse, your mom, your dad, your friend, your dog, your cat.
Okay. Um, let's let's look to the future. What are you grateful for now? In January, whatever. I am grateful for my warm coat. I know, weird answer, but it was the first thing that I thought of. So that's what I'm gonna write. This is a stream of consciousness, not an interrogation. <laughs> What hobby, did I say that yet? What hobby do you hope to pick up this coming year? You don't have to do it, but what do you want to do? I'm gonna shoot one of the stars here. Baking bread, what? I know, I'm late. I'm late on the whole sourdough baking thing. Okay. Now, of course, you know, everyone's concerned about your fitness. So, What's your health resolution this year? You want to bike more? You want to stop smoking? Eat healthier? You know, etc. etc. Hmm. You know, sometimes I feel like writing things down makes me feel more resolved. Like it's one thing to just think, yeah, I'm gonna do more yoga. But when I write it down, it's like, man, now I gotta do it. Okay. What was your exercise last year? Did you walk more? Did you just uh, walk to the fridge? <laughs> That's what I did. Or did you start bicycling? Or what was your activity? So last year, I took more walks with my dog. Okay. Segway. Do you like fireworks? I wish I could write. Hell yes. Yes, yes, yes. Do you... When was the last time you uh, shot your own fireworks? Or blew up your own fireworks? If you could celebrate New Year's anywhere in the world, Times Square, on Everest, whatever, where would you go?
What was the weirdest thing that happened to you last year? <laughs> Besides the obvious. That was a weird question. I'm sorry. Uh, the weirdest. I'm just gonna write. Slept too much. What did you read last year? Newspapers, magazines, or book? Oh man, I just, last year was... It's actually online newspapers, but I'm just gonna write newspapers. Who, um, who was your, who is the person who you connected most with last year? My friend. Who is the person that you hope to connect with more this year? Or somebody who you hope to reconnect with? I want to get closer to my little nephew. He's so cute. What leisure activity did you indulge in last year? I mean, we had a lot of time, right? <laughs> so what was the thing that you did? Oh boy. Again, no judgment. It could be TV, or you could just not be doing anything, it's totally fine. Was there something specific about that leisure activity? Because I really want to write my favorite video game ever. If you read a book, what was the book that you read? If you watch TV, what was the TV show you watched? I can see what you're writing. You could be writing rap lyrics for all I know. Okay, what is one food <laughs> that you would like to cut out this year? Man, I gotta stop eating cookies, man. That whole cookie baking thing was a bad idea because I can't give them away because I just make so many and I end up eating all of them. What food item, I know, food again, should, do you want to eat more of? 
like this year. Yeah, more, more fruits. The problem is, I only like like cantaloupe and bananas. I don't like anything else. How's everyone doing? Good? What food would you want to cook more this year? Promise, last food question. Um, I want to perfect my porridge recipe. Chicken porridge. Easy to make, kind of, but difficult to master. What is a personal personality trait of yourself that you would like to emphasize more this year? This year I promise to uh, no more, you know I do this every year, swear less but you know what stop swearing it's not nice Jim can't keep doing that I'm spelling everything From now on, it's just gosh darn it, I promise. Sugar. What personality trait would you like to emphasize this year? I know those two questions are about the same, but I think we can find different answers, right? What personality trait you did not like about yourself last year? Hmm. I think I was grumpy very often. But you know what? I'm recognizing it, taking charge of it, and I will try to be less grumpy this year. <laughs> If you could give yourself one thing last year, like an item, like a magic thing, you just show up last year and just be like, hey, here you go, what would it be? You know what's funny? The first thing I thought was toilet paper. So that's what I'm going to write.
Okay, so it's January right now. Imagine it's July of this year. So you've, you're halfway through the year. What do you want to say to future you to keep yourself, you know, on track? I would say, hey, are you doing more yoga? You said you would. Sometimes we need a reminder, you know. What holiday are you looking forward to this year? Hmm. I want a proper Christmas. I know we just had one, but it was like fake Christmas. Okay, really quick. Think of a short sentence that sums up your year last year. Don't think too hard. Quick. Now really think of a short message you would like to define this year. Come on, positive thing. What would be your defining message? Now think of a person, a friend, a family member, anybody who you knew was having a tough year. What would you say to them? <sighs> okay. On a scale of one to ten, one being, oh my god, no, and ten being, yes, let's do it. How would you rate going back to work and back to school? <laughs> How many ones? 
how many people are writing one <laughs> what are you looking forward to this year to be anything in life like maybe you have somebody's wedding coming up or your moving house or something to look forward to any time of the year I am looking forward to hmm. Okay, so what's one thing that you're not looking forward to this year? Could be visiting your mother-in-law <laughs> Thanksgiving or maybe uh, somebody you know is visiting that you don't like. Hmm. I'm not looking forward to going back to... Uh, work conventions actually I mean work conferences get out Okay, now we all know what we want, you know, but what do we need, what do you need to do this year? Do you absolutely need to lose that five pounds? Do you need to be nicer to your sister, whatever? I need to, oh my god. I can't put it off anymore. Okay. Think of a person that maybe you don't really like. Come on, it's a new year. You gotta make up, make it up somehow. What would you say to uh, who is this person, <laughs> and what would you say to them? Fine. The new year, we should all extend a warm hand, right? If you would pick up this dog food. <laughs> okay. What is a, a wish list this year? Like, you don't have to do it, but you want to do it. You know, just fantasize a little bit. What do you want to, what would you love to do this year?
what one thing did you get last year that was just memorable? You know, it doesn't have to be anything expensive, but like one thing that was just like, oh yeah, I'm so glad I did that. Doesn't have to be crazy, you know, but I'm pretty glad I uh, started knitting more. It's very relaxing. All right. What was one place that you went to last year that was really memorable? Now, if if this is live, we all know that in twenty twenty, there's not many places we could have visited. So, what was the one place that was that was really memorable. Hmm. I didn't go many places, but there's this one place that I enjoyed. For anybody who was asking, I'm currently using a pilot. I think it's the 912. Yeah. <laughs> pilot Custom 912. I got it as a gift. It's a very nice pen. Okay. Back to positivity. What is one word of affirmation? that you want to say to yourself every morning for the rest of the year you're going to pin this on a post-it and put it on your mirror what are you going to say? Okay, think of yourself last year. What is one short sentence that you want to say to yourself last year? Hmm, I want to say... For you guys in the chat who correctly guessed what pen I'm using, you guys are amazing. <laughs> like, I'm not much of a fountain pen person, so for me it's like basic black pen. <laughs> okay, okay. Um... Let's say you could visit a friend who lives far away. Which friend would you visit or family member would you visit? If you have a time machine, if, if you have like a transportation device. 
I would love to visit my brother. And where does this person live? Lives in All right. Now imagine you're there. Where else do you want to go? Like one other place. You can choose one other place with a layover before you gotta go straight home. Oh man, I miss traveling. Okay, so now think of this year, the whole year, till December. You got 12 months. What is one thing that you will promise to yourself you will succeed in? Okay, here's a re resolution. We got to do this. It doesn't have to be crazy. It could be something small. Lose five pounds. All right. But what, what one thing do you think you absolutely can do that is good for you? All right. This year, I promise to uh, clean up my garage. All right, you know what? I promise to clean out my garage this year. Tall order. You guys haven't seen it. But yes, I will do it. Is anyone writing working on penmanship? <laughs> Now think of your friends and family. What what would you like to share with them? Hmm. Maybe you want to share this casserole you made or maybe you want to go over to your friend's house and share some time with them. What would you share? Okay, so think of another person who you care about, your mom, your dad, your sister, brother, friends, family. What would you make for them if you could make anything? A drawing, a plate of a cake, uh, you can make them a card, you could make, uh, make them a scarf. Or if you're a, you're a woodworker, you could make them a birdhouse or whatever. What would you make for one person in your life? Hmm.
I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> but it would be nice, you know, to think about something nice for people, you know, something you could make. Sure beats buying something from Amazon, right? Okay, think about last year. Which retailer did you go to? That you go to a lot. Like, did you go to a grocery, or did you go to uh, your? Did you buy stuff from Amazon a lot? I know I did. Did you go to a specific taco shop, or what was one retailer that you went to a lot? To buy your things. Okay, guys, think about a thing that you spend way too much money on. I mean, I know I do. What one thing would you like to cut back on this year? Maybe you spend too much money on the fountain pen. Fountain pen, guys. Or you spend too much money on food, or you spend too much money on. What is it that you should spend less money on? Oh boy. I'm not willing to, to cut that. <laughs> but you know what? It's important to be fiscally responsible. So I'm gonna spend less money on... You know what? dog toys I don't see why I gotta spend so much money on a simple plastic thing that he eats up in like one hour my dog's gonna hate me Okay, now imagine you have, oh shoot, I don't know, 600 bucks. <laughs> okay, okay, let's say we have, magically, somebody gave us $2,000. Okay, free check, here you go. What would you spend it on? No, no judgment. I mean, you can spend it on anything you like. Two thousand dollars. Oh boy. I would buy a comfortable office chair. You know those can be really expensive, you know. everyone doing good you're getting your flow yeah so I think like in the middle pages here I kind of like started writing terribly but I think I'm getting into the flow of it so you know practicing makes you write better and better and better hmm okay how would you invest in your health Okay, so you have a, so you have like a whole bunch of money. How would you invest in yourself? Would you buy yourself a nice massage, or would you get a nice, uh, a year's supply of vitamins? 
Or would you go on a nice vacation? We all deserve to have a little time to spoil ourselves, right? Okay, on the same topic of self-care, what self-care activity should you, do you want to do more frequently this year? Like you don't do enough of it, you know, could be anything. Maybe treat yourself to more face masks this year. Treat yourself to more meditation time. Promise yourself a little bit more massages this year. Quit smoking. That's a good one. Drink less. Yeah. I think my self-care routine that I want to up this year, I should meditate more. Every time I start to meditate, I get bored. <laughs> I know that's not the point. I mean, that is the point? I don't know. Meditation is weird. What self-care could you have used last year? What one thing would have really helped you last year? If you, even if it cost a lot of money or maybe you didn't have time to do it or you just have it, you just don't seem to be able to do it. What could have helped you last year that you just didn't do? Hmm... Last year, I could have exercised more, I just didn't. I'm paying for it now. But you know what? We are recognizing we are recognizing it and we will take action. How do you even spell exercise? <laughs> Okay. Self care, guys, super important. Okay, let's think a little bit about your career or your work this year. If you're in school or you're working, what do you, uh, what what commitment are you going to do to your schoolwork or your job this year? I promise to never miss a deadline at work. I mean, I'll do my best. But if my boss is reading this, hey, this is not a contract, okay? <laughs> don't like when people are waiting on me so chin do not miss a deadline if you're in school maybe always turn in your homework right right on time okay now look around you, 
what household chore do you promise to do more of this year? <laughs> I mean, we, we all hate one thing, right? I don't think anybody likes every aspect of housework. So this year, this big old grand old year, I promise to never leave dishes in the sink. I feel so empowered. I have a feeling like a couple months later, you know, I'm going to read this and I'm going to be like, yeah, right. But you know what? I have written this down. I am resolved. Right after this, I'm going to go downstairs and wash all my dishes. Okay, I want you guys to think about your friends, your family, and think about your relationship with them last year. Um, was it good? Was it bad? What was one thing that you hope to... Uh, I mean, something that <laughs> man, but I hate people. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What I'm trying to say is, think about your friends and family. Every time they annoy you, write down something that will make you think. You know what? It's gonna be okay. Find the good in people. What good would you want to find in people? Everyone's fighting their own battles. Everyone's fighting a battle. You don't know what people are going through, right? Maybe you have a lot of arguments with your spouse or your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Try to see something from their point of view. Hmm. Okay, so you do you guys watch like this? Uh, there is this lady in Japan. She's like a cleaning expert. So she would like uh, go to your closet and throw out anything that doesn't serve you. You know, she calls it a uh, whatever doesn't spark joy, you gotta throw it out because there's no point in keeping things that do not make you happy, right? So look to last year or this year. What would you throw out? What no longer sparks joy? Hmm, you're not allowed to write mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, what no longer sparks joy? My entire garage, yes, but I'm just going to pick one thing. Okay. There's this plant downstairs that's just dying. It no longer sparks joy. I gotta get rid of it. My...
I've had this plant for like six years and it was great and then it just started dying and I'm just so sad. It's huge. It's like taller than I am. So I'm very sad to let it go. But you know what? It no longer sparks joy. It's a new life. Uh, new new year. So I'm gonna throw it out. <clears throat> What does spark joy in your life that you are going to hold on to this year and promise yourself you remember to hold on to this person or this thing for the entire year? Right now, what sparks joy and makes you happy and try to keep that same happiness for the whole year. <sighs> This is gonna be lame, but my uh, my video game systems don't judge me. It sparks so much joy. Okay, imagine it is now uh, December, an entire year just passed. You are now in December, looking back to January. What would you hope to be feeling like? What do you hope to have accomplished this year? doesn't have to be career or whatever, it could be anything, you know, it could be, hey, I um, got a promotion, or, hey, I, uh, you know, I, I, I updated my YouTube channel, <laughs> or, hey, I, I, I spend more time with my family, okay, so, what would December you be saying? December 2021 Chin would say Okay, all right, so, you know, last year was kind of meh, right? But you know what, this is a new year, and I'm thinking, I'm pretty positive. I think we're gonna do a bit better. I can read the future, but I, I wish everybody a fantastic year. So, our very last question um your resolution what what do you wish for yourself this year just write it out who knows maybe a fairy will read it and it'll come true <laughs> okay so
<laughs> Happiness, health, prosperity, stability, and for good measure, a Ferrari. All right. That's my wish for this year. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining. I'm going to answer a few quick questions I've seen uh, in the chat. I'm using a Pilot Custom 912. Uh, I've been doing cursive. Well, I've been writing cursive for many years, uh, but I'm a professional calligrapher for 10 years. The paper I'm using is, this is actually a journal that I found on at Barnes & Noble. I have no clue who makes it. Post. If you can find it, great. If not, you know, it's okay. I'm not like recommending it. I only bought it because there's a cool picture of a quill on the front. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go clean my garage right now and empty my dish, my, my sink. So I'm hoping to make this a more frequent thing. One of my resolutions this year, honestly, is to be uh, more engaging on my YouTube. So uh, I thank you all for joining me. Uh, I hope to see you next time. If you have any suggestions of what to write next, I'm always looking for topics. Don't say food. So let me know in my chat, let me know in my YouTube, and I'll see you next time, okay? Thank you all. Bye!